Hey Flock, welcome to Howling Griffin's Paint by Numbers Part 3. In this video, I'm going to be detailing the yellow aspects of the armor. So I'm going to start with the backpacks. It's the easiest thing to demonstrate on. I do here have the completed test marine. And so what I've done here is basically I've just built up layers of two colors. So that's going to be Citadel Uriel Yellow and Citadel Flash Gets Yellow. And then as well, there's a light wash of Citadel Cassandori yellow shade. And I'll be using those three just to punch up the yellow here and get ready to work on the rest of the model. So I've already got some Eand and Dark Sun on the palette in case I need to go back to it for any touch-ups. So let's just get the other two colors on the palette here. There's a little bit of Uriel yellow. And there's a little bit of Flash Gets yellow. Now the Cassandora shade, I will just be using straight out of the pot when I get there. So I'm going to start with the Uriel yellow. I'm just going to kind of focus it towards the top of the model. You know, letting the existing and in Dark Sun sort of carry the weight of shadow in a lot of places. I'm just being very careful when I get towards the center here. I'm not going to do much in here because of course this is going to be facing into the back of the Space Marine so it's just not important. You can also actually see this looks a little bit dirty. Um, that's basically the end in Dark Sun. Didn't go on quite opaquely enough. I probably should have done another coat here and I didn't really notice until I just started this. So if any of it looks really off after I've done this, I may just bring in a little more end in Dark Sun again. back in, just kind of come up from the bottom of some of these areas here, sort of work it backwards into with a shadow a little bit in a few spots. doesn't need a lot, there's just a couple areas that looked a little darker than they really should have. I just want to kind of bring that fix to them. Okay, so that's step one, that's the Uriel Yellow. Step two is going to be bringing in the much brighter Flash Gets Yellow. And this I really just want to focus towards the top of every detail. I don't want to use it too broadly. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat that two-step highlight on the armor itself. So I'm going to start back to the Uriel yellow. I'm going to kind of just bring that across the top of the whole collar here. Oh, 
Got a little bit there on the purity seal. That's okay. is trying to keep this yellow on roughly the top half of the model or you know services kind of facing in that direction leaving the end in dark sun in the shadows big ones are the shoulder pad here and of course the helmet. What I'm going to do here is I'm just kind of blending this out as much as the paint allows before it dries. Same thing here, gonna bring in the flash gets yellow now and much more focused with it. It's closer to a point highlight, I guess. And it's sort of the outside edge of the crest here.
There's a couple little small details in there that kind of just got filled in with the bright yellow here. I'm going to be bringing in that Cassandora wash shortly, though, so I'm not really too concerned about that. All right, that's it for Flash Gets Yellow. What I want to do here quickly before I bring in the Cassandora Yellow is just grab a little bit of the original Yandin Dark Sun and just a little water from the side of my palette, which actually is really running low right now. There's just a few spots here where I just kind of want to try and feather things out just a little bit, where I felt the transitions were a little too harsh. Kind of filtering them with a little bit of a glaze of the and in dark sun, just to kind of bring everything back together. And actually, we did not hit this part here at all with the flash kits. So I can put the palette away and just grab the Cassandora yellow. And what I want to do with it is just basically work it in as if I'm painting in the shadows. Kind of bring it around the details and the areas between them. I want to sort of add just an orange tint to the shadows. It makes everything just look a little bit deeper and it kind of helps tie it back to the red to be honest. You know, it brings some of the, you know, tone of the red over into the yellow by adding this orange in. I know it's called Cassandora Yellow, but it's very much of kind of a light orange color. You can be pretty liberal with it. You can kind of just spread it over the whole thing. It's a very, very light shade. You know, it's not like putting Agrax or shade over the whole thing or anything. which I actually will do later, but in very sparing amounts. It's okay if a little bit of this spills onto the red, because it's basically going to have no impact whatsoever if it overlays any red. You know, it's such a light shade, and the red is so dark by comparison that it just doesn't actually do anything. Which really works in our favor, and is also why we're doing this one first. Now it does end up tinting the silver or uh, lead belcher areas a little bit, so we do want to be careful there, just not to overdo it. But we are going to hit the metal areas later with some Nuln oil, which will absolutely overtake any color added by the Cassandora yellow.
here, you can see almost a lot of it was pooling up on the bottom of the shoulder pad there, so it's brushed a little bit away. And I'll probably have the same thing on the bottom of this arm. Anytime you have too much of a, a wash in a certain spot, you can kind of just pull it away usually. While it's still wet, if you wait until it's starting to dry, you'll get a weird effect because you'll pull away a clump but leave like a ring dried around it. And don't worry doing this part if the Cassandora doesn't produce enough shadow because I will be coming in later with a little bit of Agrax Earthshade to just really push them a little bit further. So if, you know, this is really more just a tint. It's meant to kind of start the shadows off, but they will go a little bit further once this is done. But already we're getting much, much closer now to the finished look. You can see it's much, the finished look is a little bit darker and that is the Agrax Earthshade lining that's really doing that. We need to let this Cassandora dry first. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that now on the backpack, which does not take long at all. backpack you want to make sure you really work it into the deeper creases so sort of around this center bubble around the smaller vents and between the large you know globe vent and the rest of the backpack as well as into the panel lines now you didn't need it in this area and in fact I'm going to try and pull it out now just clean the brush and I'm just kind of siphoning the color out we can leave that to dry. All right, and there's the completed yellow. We'll be working on the red in the next video. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more here on YouTube. You can also join me twice a week at twitch.tv slash epicduckstudios on Thursday and Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern, where I do stream my painting live. If you want to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash epicduck. Even giving as little as a dollar a month helps keep the lights on and the paint flowing. You can also help by hitting subscribe here on YouTube or sharing this video with some friends. Thanks a lot!